Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Hello friends, welcome back to this segment of Embrace. We are talking parenting children. And from the last episode, we talked about the roles of parents. We continue from where we ended. It's the role of a parent to give meaningful names to children. Don't just give a name to a child because of circumstance. Names speak. Names speak loudly. And they speak mainly in the spiritual realm. They can be encouraging or they can be discouraging. So when, you speak, when you're giving a child a name, don't give them names about death. You're killing the child. Don't give them names about hopelessness. Don't give them names about fighting and war. Don't give them names about witchcraft. It's your role as a parent to give meaningful names to children. The name you give a child actually speaks volumes of what that child is going to be. Because every time that name is called, it speaks in the, in the, in the spiritual atmosphere. So let's give meaningful names to our children. Next, is the role of parents to provide food in the house. Children should not go looking for food. You are supposed to provide food for the house. Not just for the children alone, but for the entire household, including your wife. And if you have a husband and you're able to get some food as a wife, it's your role to provide food as well. I know many people dis dis dispute this, but it's okay for a woman to provide food for the house. It's okay. Not that, women, not that men should negate their duties, no. But the role of parents combined, provide food for children. If you don't provide food for children, they'll get malnourished. This could bring disease in the, in the family. Also, children become beggars in neighbors' homes and become a nuisance in the community. So, so our role as parents provide food in the community um, for our children. It is our role as parents to produce children in the number that we can handle and take care of. You're producing a football team when you cannot provide for the whole football team. Even a football, even a football manager, a coach, knows how many plans when the, when the team is taking a trip to go and play football elsewhere. They plan accommodation, they plan meals, they plan, they plan per diem, they plan all that. Parents, it's our responsibility to produce children in the right number and in the number that we can, that we can provide for comfortably. Life is getting interesting. It's not in the past like we used to provide. I mean, there would be, f f there would, you had, your father had four, 40 acres of land and could farm. Land has been fragmented now. You're producing children and each of them will need an acre of land. How are you going to handle it? It's important that you produce children in the right number, in the number that we can take good care of. The word is good care. It's our responsibility as parents to teach our children good behavior and setting family guidelines. Don't just let the children to grow up like, like, like wild trees. Teach children, set guidelines of how they should live. Teach them how to behave. Teach them how to sit. Good morals. How should the girls sit? How should the boys sit? How should the girls dress? How should the girls behave around elders? How should the girls, how should the boys sleep? Having a big bed is not a is not a, is not a is, is not is not ticket to just sleep the way you want. It's the way you're supposed to sleep. As a girl, having a big bed is no guarantee to sleep the way you want. It's important we teach our children good behavior. Teach them how to eat. Teach them how to wash plates. Teach good behavior. Teach them not to talk while eating food. Reason they'll get choked and they could easily die. It's important we teach our children how to behave. It's our responsibility as parents to discipline children. It is your child. Someone else will come and tell you what to do with your child, yes. But if the child gets indisciplined, it is you whom they are going to blame. So discipline your children in a Christian and godly way. And also a human way. By the way, God's way is human. God's way is very human. So let's discipline our children in godly and human ways. Don't kill your children for something small. Train your children. Discipline them. It's our responsibility 
to help our children know their relatives. Otherwise, they will get married to their relatives. Teach them this is uncle, this is auntie, this is your cousin. Let's take them out to meet their relatives. Friends, this is very important. Otherwise, you'll have incest. Your sister, your daughter will meet a cousin in university and they don't know each other. And they'll come for introduction. How will you handle that? They want to get married. How will you handle that? It's our responsibility as parents to teach our children and to show them relatives. And as we bring this to a close, it's our responsibility as parents to stay married and support each other. A broken marriage usually leads to a broken marriage for our children as well. Children grow up with a pain and a bitterness from one, you know, one-sided bitterness. They've never had the story from the other side. So do as much as possible to stay married and stay together and support each other. Children who grow up like that, they grow up into children who don't need a lot of supervision. Parents, it's our responsibility to appreciate our children when they do something good. Appreciate them. Tell them thank you. It's your responsibility. Don't just keep quiet, especially the boys. We normally appreciate the girls, but appreciate the boys, appreciate them. It helps them grow into men who also appreciate others. So as we bring this whole series to a close, if you've missed an episode, please look for it and watch it. We've been talking parenting children and our foundation has been Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. We're saying we train in parenting, we train the heart, we train the head, we train the hands. Till next time, thank you for watching Embrace. God bless you.